Okay, cool. So in my, I mean, to, to really give you like my opinion on, on posting versus like running actual paid traffic and whether it's Facebook ads or any other type of ad, whatever, any type of online marketing, you got online marketing that you're actually paying for paid traffic, no matter what platform it is. And then you have organic posting, you know, yeah. you have your business page and then you have your, your personal Facebook page. And then you may have all of these other platforms. And, and if you're any, if you're, if you're, and that's why knowing your demographics, you know, knowing who your target market is, that's obviously important because if you're marketing to the older generation and let's just, let's just call it, let's just call it, I mean, not even older, let's just call it 25. I mean, 25 and up. So if you're, if you're marketing it, yeah, if you're marketing 25 and up any product, 25 to 65 years old, 70 years old, it's going to be these platforms. So it's going to be Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, and even YouTube. Like that's 25 and up. If you're marketing products below 25, then it's other platforms. It could be a platform like TikTok, for example. Like my son is is 13 and he's all over TikTok. That's that, that's mainly, there's tons of ages on there. There's many different age groups on there, but a lot of kids are on that platform, younger teens, for example. So it just, it, it just comes down to knowing your target market, obviously. And then, and then to your question, you know, organic and, and what you're planning on doing with posting, was that posting on Facebook or was that posting on any of these other platforms? Where were uh, you kind of it, it, I do post on the other, on the other platforms. Okay. Uh, but I've also noticed that in Facebook and um, Facebook and LinkedIn, that groups are very important. Yeah, they're, they're important. But, but at the same time, I just truly believe, and this is all personal experience. This is personal experience. And, and it's also me just, you know, keeping my ear to the streets and, and just studying this stuff. Like I just, I, I, I follow people just like you, you have people that you're following to learn all this stuff from. And, you know, I have different people that I'm following and it's like, you got organic posting on all these platforms. And then, and then again, you have, you have paid traffic when it comes to organic posting, it's really, it's really, if you're building a nationwide business for sure. So if someone like you, you could take clients from wherever that would be good for you. Like that'd be good for, for, for a nationwide or an international type of business type of brand where you're posting organically 15 times a day or whatever the hell you plan on doing. You're posting on all these platforms every single day and you're attracting people from all walks of life. That, that, that's it. it and, and that, that, that's kind of, that's kind of what comes with it. So if you have a specific type of client, like let's say for example, you're helping plumbers. Okay. So if we're helping plumbers and we're looking for plumber type of clients posting all day, the million dollar question is, is that going to attract plumbers? Like, am I requesting plumber friends or plumber people requesting me? So are plumbers following me on Instagram? Are plumbers following me on LinkedIn? You know, are plumbers following me on Facebook? Like on my personal Facebook, the, see, this is what most don't have. Most people, agencies, freelancers, people that are looking to, you know, looking for clients, what most people don't have, let me show you what, what, I, ha what I mean. Most people don't have what I have in this specific case. What I have over here on my personal Facebook page are 5,000 real estate agents. So if I come over here and post, that makes sense. So if I'm over here putting 10 posts up a day, 10, you know, 15 posts a day or two a day or whatever the hell, one a day, whatever it would make total sense for me to do that because the 5,000 people that are seeing it are actually in my target market. But what most people do is they'll go out and build organically and all the people that are following them on Instagram aren't even their target client. Facebook, they'll, they'll come over here to their Facebook page and they have, they have 310 friends and all of them are random ass people. Or you have 1,300 friends all of them are random ass people. So if you have that going on, 
posting ain't going to do a darn thing for you at all at all. And, and especially on your business page, because here's what happens with the business page. We end up getting up to 2,700 friends over here, and they're all random people from across the country. They're not even plumbers. And what we end up doing is we end up clicking invite. We'll come to our business page, and we'll, we'll come over here and invite all these friends from our personal page to like our business page. Now on our business page, we have 300 likes. But again, they're all people that are random because these friends over here were random. So unless you have 5,000 or 2,000 or 1,000 of your actual target clients, then posting is not going to do nothing for you. And the same thing with LinkedIn. You can, you can spend all your day, man, jumping into these different groups, looking for plumber groups on Facebook, looking for plumber groups on LinkedIn. That's so freaking time consuming. It's not even funny. So if I'm going to be glued to my phone all damn day, or if I want to be glued to my computer all day, spamming all these people, because that's all I'm really doing. I'm, 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 I'm posting all day. I'm on social media all day. I'm, I'm trying to connect with people all day. And, and, and all I'm doing is jumping into these groups so I can find someone that I can direct message and spam them and just hit them up for business. It's like, holy shit, that's so time consuming. It's not even, it's, it, it, it's, it's just not worth it. It's just not mm -hmm. worth it. And that's not just my opinion. That's, that's fact. Like this, it is what it is. Like that's what sure. most people do. You know, that's no, what I, most people do. Yeah. I, I so, think that you bring up some extremely valid points because you've, you've really studied, you know, your target market. Yes. So, so what I, what I ended up doing is I said, okay, if I'm going to, if I'm going to build a business and if I on social media, and if I'm going to go after a specific type of person, then I have to make sure that those people are connected with me. So I did it with Facebook. I didn't do it with LinkedIn. I could have easily did it with LinkedIn. I could have easily did it with Instagram. I could have easily did it with Twitter. Um, YouTube, no. And Pinterest, probably not. But for sure, for sure, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and Twitter. I could have for sure, you could for sure, you, anybody for sure can for sure find their specific client on those top four. Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And so what I did is I did Facebook. So in 2016, I said, okay, shit, I'm coming out of the real estate business. I'm coming out of mortgages. I was a you know mortgage guy for six years from right. 2010 to 2016. And then as I'm coming out of mortgages, 2016, I fall in love with the internet and I fall in love with wanting to, to build something over here on social media. And so I left everything behind and I said, okay, I'm going to start freelancing and I'm going to start, I'm going to bring my marketing experience to the real estate industry. And so what I did is again, I didn't start running ads right away because I didn't have a budget for ads. So I came to Facebook. So out of these four, I just happened to be on Facebook. I was on Facebook forever prior so I just happened to leverage Facebook. And so what I literally did, Pete, is I came over here to my friend list and I removed all of my real friends. That's why you and I on Facebook, yeah, you and I right. were buds now. Normally we would right. connect on Facebook, but I don't bring yeah. anyone on my personal Facebook unless they're my target client. Because what right. I, I even removed my mom. I even removed my own brother. I removed all my cousins. I re removed my best friends. I removed my classmates. I, re I removed my actual people that I know. And I just sent them, and, and, and to tell you the truth, at the end of the day, it's only a few anyways. So when you look at your personal Facebook page, I'm willing to bet it's only a handful that you actually know. Maybe your sure. ex-girlfriend, maybe your buddy from, you know, you guys go out and drink every, every, every now and then. Like, it's just a handful of people. Like, and this is when you're scaling the list up. So if you're a business owner, it's when you're taking the friend list up. When you're going to 1,100, you're going to 4,200. You're thinking logically, you're thinking, let me get as many people as friends as possible. Let me build relationships with these people so I can eventually sell them whatever I'm offering because I'm building a business. But again, if you're building a business where these people are not going to even fit the criteria, well then shit, what do I need them for? Like my aunts, my cousins, my uncle, my brother, my own mother. I said, hey, you guys are taking up prime real estate. 
And I literally messaged all of them. I gave them all a direct message. I swear to you, Pete, this is exactly what I did in 2016 because I knew over here on Facebook, this is where I was comfortable with. I wasn't comfortable with Instagram at that point. I wasn't comfortable with LinkedIn or Twitter. I, I wasn't really on any of those other platforms. Mm -hmm. I was on Facebook forever, just as a normal consumer. Even when I was in mortgages, I wasn't even leveraging Facebook, like at all, at all. It wasn't until 2016 when I came up with this idea and I'm like, shit, I'm gonna go help real estate agents and over here, you're allowed 5,000 friends. So what if I remove everyone that I actually know and go on a mission and fill it up with 5,000? So whenever I post, it's actually relevant to the people who are seeing it. Like, I don't want to post business stuff and my aunt from Nebraska sees it. She doesn't give a damn. She's mm -hmm. taking up prime real estate. I only get 5,000. So, mm -hmm. so I did it this way. And this is what we call guerrilla marketing, right? Marketing on a shoestring budget. That's what right. that was. And, well, and how about how, your how about your uh, uh, your business site itself? The what? This is this is your personal site that you that you have the 500, 5,000 real estate agents. That's your personal site. Yes. Okay, so you also have a site for your business, correct? This is my business page right here, but here's the reality of this page. But the it, business page is connected to to the personal page. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sure. Fine. Yes. So I got, I got this business page and it's right here in my intro. So when you come to my personal page, it, the link is right here. So you click on it, it can take you straight to my business page, but here's the reality about this business page that most people don't even get. Here's the reality. This page is worthless unless you're running Facebook ads. Right. Okay. Worthless. 1000% worthless so on a, on a business page that is really the emphasis of of uh placing your business placing your ads you have to this is where the ads run from first of all but at the same time what i'm really saying is that this page what everyone does is they'll come and set up a business page the business page is tied to your personal you cannot have a business page unless you have a personal right right so so right. so what everyone does every mom pop shop every solar i mean not solar every solopreneur right just a little one guys like you and i for example like just the real estate agent a yoga instructor a gym whatever the small business owner they all have a personal page and then they all come over here and rush to get a business page because they think they it makes them seem legit it's like, and then, and then what ends up happening again is we end up coming over here to the business page and inviting all the 1300 friends that we have over here. Cause that's how you're getting the, the likes up is you're right. inviting your 1300 friends over here when your 1300 friends don't even fit the criteria of your ideal client. And when those 1300 friends live across the country, as you scale this number up, those are not people who live in your area. As sure. you start to request random people, as random people request you and you accept them, those are random people who live across the country. So as we all come over here and rush to set up a business page because we're in business and hey, I need to have a Facebook business page, it's like, holy crap, that's a joke. And then we end up inviting all the friends to like the page. So now you're 1300 friends, you got, you clicked invite to get them all to invite, to get them all to like the page. And at the end of the day, you're going to have freaking 110 people who like it. And then here's the, here's the, the deal with fit your Facebook business page. Two reasons why this page sucks because as you post organically, Facebook only shows it to 1% of your like count. That's okay. why if you have 110 likes, or if you have even a thousand likes, Facebook only shows it to 1% of the likes. So as you post over here on your business page, 15 times a day, like you're planning, hell no, don't waste your time. Facebook's only going to show it to 1%. And if, if, if that 1% lives across the country, or if that 1% don't even fit the criteria of your dream client, holy shit, it's a waste of time. Right. So, so, so rather than doing all of that, again, it all started with the business, with the personal page. This personal page is more important than the business page. Again, the business page, it's only important if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not, don't even have one because all the connections are going to come from your personal page. This is where you're going to be connecting with people. 
requesting friends, accepting their request. If you're out in the street and you run into a potential client, hey, are you on Facebook? Yeah, let's connect on Facebook. Or if you're out in the streets and you run to some old buddies, hey, are you on Facebook? Yeah, let's connect on Facebook. I'll request you right now. It's this page. It's the personal page that's the most important. But again, if we're in business and we're trying to post over here and these people don't fit that criteria, it's a waste of time. So again, I direct messaged back in 2016, my own brother, my own best friend, people I went to grade school with that I, that I was connected with here, they were friends on my page. I, I sent them all a message and I said, hey, and look, I'm gonna show you right now. Look, I'm not lying, man, this is real stuff. I sent them all the message back then and I said, hey, I'm removing you from my personal page because I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna end up, because I'm starting a business, and I'm going to be turning this into a business page. I really, you know, that's what I said for my personal page. No one knew the difference anyways. No one even cares what the difference is. They don't even know business page, personal page. No one even, no, the average consumer has no idea. So I would send, I sent a message and I said, hey, mom, I'm, I'm, I'm going to move you off of my personal page because I'm going to turn it into my business. I'm starting a business and, and I'm going to be doing a lot of business stuff over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unfriend you and I'm going to put you over here on my Instagram. The 256 people, actually, actually, those are my followers. The 130, the 130 that I'm following, Pete, the 130 are people that I actually know. That's why when you take this mm -hmm. friend count up, it's only a handful of people that you actually know. Sure. So we think that the personal page are friends. We think that they're all our friends. No, they're not. These are people that don't even freaking know you. Yeah, and this, right. again, this is when you're taking the number up. This is when you're in business and you logically are thinking, hey, I need to have 5,000 friends. So let me request the freaking planet and let me get everyone as a damn friend. These are people you don't even know. So, so, when, you, so when you actually post something, uh, you do post something on your business page because of, the, uh, of your particular concept. And, and, all uh, I do over oh. here, Pete, all I do, and this is me. I'm, I'm a little different in a way where I really only care about my YouTube. So all I do oh, is yeah, I put sure. all my content on YouTube and I share it to all my platforms. So I'll share it oh, to yeah, my personal sure, page. Sure, sure. I'll share it to my business page. I'll share my YouTube video on my LinkedIn page. I'll share it on my Pinterest. I'll share it on my Twitter. Look, the mm -hmm. Instagram, again, the 130 people that I'm following are my actual aunts and uncles, my cousin, my brothers, like my wife, like these are 130 people that I actually know. So, so when it comes to social media, it's like, unless you're the mayor or unless you're, you know, running for office or unless you're, I don't know, the freaking governor, like you only have a handful of friends. And especially as right. we get older, Pete, you'll right. know, like I, I know, shit, I'm that. getting older myself. As we get older, I don't even have as many friends anymore. Yeah. Right? It's like shit. It's like we all want to have a big, a big head thinking we have all these friends. No, we don't. And, and again, mm. to those, you know, I'm saying this respectfully, those that actually have a lot of friends, it's really what, 130? Well, I mean, by a system, I mean, you, you've, the system that you've, that you've set up, and I mean, I can, it's obvious that, you know, YouTube has really been your claim to fame. Yes, by, man. Uh, it, it, every YouTube has mm -hmm. done more for you than, yes. I hate to say the word Facebook, but yes. let's say other, yes. YouTube has done more for you than well, any other advertising platform because of the system that you use. But it's been helpful of transferring it to, from YouTube to uh, your other accounts, which would be Facebook or Instagram. And the That's reason why I did it that way, the reason why I did it that way is because if we're talking about posting content, again, you're either going to put out images or you're going to put out video. I chose video and, and, I, and, I, and I did it on YouTube. But the reason why I put 100% effort on that rather than putting video on LinkedIn or rather than putting video on, on Twitter or, or even video on, on Instagram, I put all my effort into video on YouTube because it's the videos on YouTube that are actually paying me. So in the last, exactly. in the last 28 exactly. days, right. 
my YouTube income just on the YouTube income alone was 814 in the last 28 days. Mm -hmm. That's a check, Pete, that I yeah, cash. Right. right. That's cash deposit in my freaking bank. Right. So I put all my content here and then I share it everywhere else because I want that link. I want that, that YouTube link. So if you see that on, on Facebook, you click on it and it takes you straight to YouTube. It's a YouTube link. But again, mm -hmm. this is, this is, this is just what I'm doing. Not everyone's putting out YouTube videos, you know, not everyone wants to be on YouTube at all. But, but, but what I'm saying is the fact that yeah, YouTube in the last year, that's where I got a lot of momentum. And, and again, that's where now my income, that's why I started sharing these damn videos. Cause I'm like, holy crap, they're going to start paying me when I got, yeah, that's where, it, that's where it exploded your growth. Dude, Pete, I was fired up when that check was freaking a hundred bucks. I'm like, holy shit, these guys are paying me now. And that was like a yeah. year ago, but, but now, it, now it grew. Actually, that was about 10 months ago. And then now it grew to where it's at today. That's, this is the last you know, 28 days. That's a one month deposit in my bank. But, 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 but here's what I'm saying. It, yeah, YouTube in the past year, that's where a lot of my, my claim to fame came. But it did start from my personal page. It started here. It started with these 5,000 friends. I made so much money direct messaging no advertising, no Facebook ads for clients. I didn't have to do that because again, I got so good at requesting one type of person. I got so good at direct messaging them. I got so good at getting them on the phone and I got so oh, yeah. good at closing yeah. them. Yeah. All right. Because I honed exactly. in on one type of person and I did it on Facebook, but you could do it on, yeah. on these other ones. Instagram, I can go to Instagram and I can look for plumbers and I can follow all of them. And then, and then I can, and then I can start being friends with them and I can start liking their pictures and I can start commenting on their pictures. That's why with, with LinkedIn, it blows my mind. Let me show you, man. Rookies, 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 rookies. It's like, these are people that, that, that just have no clue. I don't know. I don't get it, but people want to pitch you right away. That's why when you start joining these groups, you can post all the time if you want. And you can start joining these groups on LinkedIn and Facebook all you want. But, but what ends up happening is don't be that spammer. Like, look, if and it happens to me on LinkedIn, it happens to me on LinkedIn. All a person wants to do is pitch me. That's the very first message. Like that's the very first message. Look, Jan, this is the very, I don't even know who the hell you are, Jan, but you want to send me, we connected. And then you send me a message right away. I work at Growth Lever, whatever the hell that is. We offer a way for you to close more sales. How about a freaking how are you doing? How about how, how, how about a, yeah. like people yeah. have no idea how to I agree. Prospect. I agree. I agree. Like there. they're just Absolutely all these people, that. man, all these yeah. people. I get it on LinkedIn because it's the same way. It's the same way with uh, email. They over, they overcook their email. Rather yes, than man. Up the email. And it's like, it's like, it's like, on LinkedIn, it's where you have the quote unquote professionals, but it's like, man, all of these professionals suck. They all suck at marketing. They all suck at social media marketing. They all suck. Sure. Like, like that's just my opinion. But at the same time, it's like, I get it. I get their messages every freaking day. Now, now are some people saying that to me over here on, 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 on Facebook? I'm over here on Facebook. I got 5,000 friends. I direct message them every single day different ones every single day. That's how I get my clients. That's my daytime hustle. That's what I call that. My daytime, mm -hmm. my daytime hustle as I'm messaging my 5,000 friends. Do people look at my message, message and probably say that sometimes? Yeah. So the same thing, I'm, the same way I'm talking smack about these people on LinkedIn, I'm getting their message. Yeah, I have no doubt that there's probably real estate agents over here saying the same thing about mine. But what I don't do is I don't pitch you right away. That's the difference. Like yeah. on a, on. on Absolutely. Off, off the call, Pete, I'll really, really tell you my direct mar me messaging secret. Like I'll really, really tell you, but we're, we're recording for YouTube right now. So we'll go into that later, but I have a completely different, and it's nothing crazy. It's nothing special. It's nothing magical. It's not a crazy sales message at all. In fact, it's not a sales message. That's, that's the thing. Like, it's just hello. Hey, how are you? I noticed you were, you know, successful. I actually help you know, real estate agents with their social media marketing. I'd love to give you some free tips someday. All I charge is a good review on my business page. Like I have a totally non-aggressive approach on my message. And that's why I get so many to reply back. And then it wasn't until this year when I started posting those conversations on YouTube. 
So if you go back to my videos, I have a shitload of actual live calls that I'm doing with agents. Like I started putting a lot of them up this year. Um, um, and so that's where, that's where it all came from is, is, is a sincere message. Don't post over here and try to sell your shit all day. Don't join these yeah, groups right. to try to spam right. them all day. And don't message people with a message right away that says, hey, I was looking to connect with, with other professionals in your space and your name came up. Can we connect? Like, it's like cheesy. Jonathan, it's, it's freaking cheesy. Like, I can read all these messages, man. They're all freaking cheesy ass messages. You know, so, so I don't do it that way. I, my message is, is completely different. Um, but at the same time, that, that, that's how I started. That's how you, you can start that way too. I didn't well, know. I mean, groups. it's, it's um, the messages are, the, the messages are, uh, you know, you have to warm up to the clientele. I mean, the messages cannot be from the beginning that I'm going to sell you something. I totally yeah. agree with it. Yeah. I think yep. it's a, I think it's a, a, a it's a, you're uh, smoothing the customers, so to speak, but you, uh, as long as you're adding value to that particular customer, then I think you're going to get more customers it's, it's, by adding value. Yes. It, and your YouTube videos, your YouTube videos are also your value. And I see your Facebook page is basically as a backup. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it all started here on my personal Facebook page. Um, and then, and then also here's what's so important as well with what, what, which a lot of people don't do. Like I see it all day. Like I see it all day in my, like, let me, let me just show you. It really happens on YouTube. Um, but, but, but I, I'm truly convinced that, it, that it's on every platform, but look at this. Let me, let me show you. It really happens a lot on, 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 on YouTube for me, where I get a bunch of comments from people that don't have a personal page. Like, like I'll get some spam like this for sure. Like this is obviously spam, but then right here, no personal profile, no personal profile, no personal profile, no personal profile. It's like, that's another thing that is that throws people's brand off when they're trying to build a well, business. I mean, personal profile in regards to the picture YouTube or no, the or picture, Facebook, the, the, both, the picture. all, all okay. the above every platform people yeah, right. won't put their real picture. Like, yeah, like, like, sure, sure. you know what I mean? Like that hurts right. your brand. Like, like that, that hurts your credibility. Like people think that you're not a real person, even if that said your name. Even if that, this one right here, Mabia Maintenance, whatever the hell it is. It's like, okay, maybe, let, let's say that's a maintenance company. Maybe, maybe they're building a maintenance business, right? And it's like, dude, that's your profile picture? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, sure, it, sure. it's horrible. Like, it's horrible. And I see it on, on all across the board. Like, even, even like, and even, even this guy right here, Blackstream. Like, okay, let's say that is him. But it's like, shit, bro, you're fully covered. Like, like you can't come to social media like that. Like you can't, like you can't when you're trying to build something, right. When you're trying to build something, you have to have a Good headshot point. there. Excellent point. You know, yeah, that has to important. be your, like, like this small, guy right things, here. small things are very important. It's the details, man. This the guy, details, Robbie, absolutely. like this guy right here, total freaking, the guy is, is in a suit. You know, that's his picture like that. That's social media, man. We connect with people. That's social media. Brad, you know, good job, Brad. There's his face. Good job, Dan. Mm -hmm. You know, good job, Becker. Like, Dan. Like, these are real people. Like, I can look at that real person, you know? But so many people, man, they'll, they'll, they won't put a picture there. And, and, and especially when you're trying to market a business, it's like, holy shit, man. No, no wonder no one's commenting on your post. No wonder no one's replying to your direct message. You know what I mean? And then, and then I see it with ads right. as well. Like I'll see it with ads. Like let's scroll through the newsfeed on Facebook. Let's see if I can point out some, some ads that I truly would disagree with. Let, let's just scroll through this newsfeed. So let's see if I can find a sponsored ad. Um, that's TikTok.
Yeah, because on your business page, that's where ads come from. It comes from your business page. Perfect example right here. This is a sponsored ad. Look, that's Andy. That's him in video. That's his name up here. That's his profile picture up there on the business page. What a lot of people do is they'll name a business page something completely different. They'll put their logo as the profile picture. And then they're trying yeah, to run seen, image ads right, of something that. random. I've seen you. Yeah, I've seen quite a bit of that. Yeah. Right? Like you're like, That's holy correct. shit. And and right when we see it, we just don't even pay attention because it just seems unreal. It doesn't no, seem it doesn't, genuine. Right? It doesn't it, it doesn't really connect the person with his business. Yeah. And this it's got guy, it's, if yeah. you if you're actually showing your face, you're connecting your business with you. Yes, man. Yes. And, and that's that right there, it just looks like I'm scrolling through and I'm seeing a friend's post. He's blended in. That's the thing about ads. You want to blend them in because all I'm doing, all we're doing is we're scrolling through, seeing what our friends are up to. We're over here. We're over here to look for socialization. We're trying to socialize. We're trying to be social. That's social media. But again, most try to hide themselves behind the camera. Most hide themselves behind the image most completely change their name look another one this is a sponsored ad it's like you got yeah. family love and then and then and then you got the profile picture like what the hell is that yeah. and she's running ads you know so it's like hopefully yeah that's I, mean, I mean she's not she's not really giving like hopefully really... that's her if that's her in the image yeah. then then i'll give her some credit but if that's not even her in the image, holy shit, because I don't know who family love is. That could be a boy or a girl. I don't know. Like, sure. if that's not her in the image, then they're even really off the rocker. You know, like, let me let me show you another one. Um, one last one over here. There's Cardone. Um, let's see if I could find one last one. Okay, so so he, another great, a good example. Again, that's his name. That's his name, Peng. Peng, I know this guy. This guy's a freaking, this guy's a yeah. beast. He crushes it. And then again, there's his picture in the profile. And then there's his image. So if you're not going to do video, okay, cool. But at least that image needs to be a headshot of you. Sure. Like it just has to. Like it just has to. And, and again, well most, not most, but some don't want to do that. You could be that person that says, David, you know what? I got a freaking business. I have an awesome product. I don't need to be that face. I don't need to be that brand. That's true. You don't actually. Like, so what I'm telling you, you don't necessarily have to do. I have another buddy of mine, Dan. No, Dan, buddy. He, he's in the, in the healthcare space and he's, he's building a business. That guy's on a mission to really build a huge, huge business, but he kind of doesn't want to be the face of it. And he doesn't want to have his face on anything really to tell you the truth. He doesn't even want his name out there. So, so the advice that I'm giving him, it's like, okay, cool. It's still possible for sure. You just gotta, you're just, you just have to be prepared to spend more money. That's all more money on ads. That's all because more people are going to have to see you over and over. They're going to have to see the message over and over and over and over for it to finally resonate because there's no person there. There's no face there. There's no personal brand. If so, I could, so, if I could grad, graduate into a question go in for terms it. of in terms of the uh, uh, the message that you that you want to promote, um, you're doing all your messages, basically all your content from scratch, correct? In other words, you're creating them all. They're all original, and I'm not saying they're not original. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not at all. I'm not saying that they're original. I'm just saying, is there other methods that help you speed up that process of of the content that you're to give you better content? Very, very good question. I, I, I'll try to answer it for sure. Yes, like one thing you wanna do for sure, for sure. One thing that helped me, especially on YouTube, because YouTube, that's where I'm putting out a video every day. So it's like, how do you even come up with ideas for a daily video? Like most people have a hard time just posting on Facebook every day. You know, so how in the hell am I doing it via video? That's even more challenging. Right. It's not like I got to think of a picture to post today. Like I actually got to think of a video to freaking verbally speak to the world today about. Right. Like that's a little bit more, right. more, 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 more challenging in a way. What helped me 
was 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 yeah learning from mentors and 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 getting the advice of narrowing it down like your job is not to be a social media marketing person your job is to focus on one thing and in and, and, and the very beginning, I thought, like when I started freelancing and started my agency back in 2016 and started getting these clients, these real estate clients, for example, I thought that I needed to, to, be, the, to be the jack of all trades for them. If they needed a video editor, I got it. If they need logo design, I got it. If they need freaking graphic design, I got it. If they need me to post for them, I got it. Like all this random shit when it's like, dude, none of that makes you money. Like none of that makes you money. And it, and, and it wasn't until one of my mentors said, dude, you need to focus in on one core tool. Like you got a tool belt. You don't need all these damn freaking tools. You need one tool. You need one freaking drill. What's the drill? Like forget about all these screwdrivers. We need one drill. And, and he said, and this is the advice that I got back then, back in 2017. He's all, your one drill is Facebook ads. Facebook ads is the only thing you need to be doing for businesses. That is it. There's no posting, there's no social media graphics, there's no logo design, none of that shit. Now, again, you could turn any of that into a business for sure. I, if I'm a graphic designer, I could for sure turn that. But again, that's your drill. If you're a graphic designer and you're doing logos and graphics, that is your drill. If you're an Instagram person, that's your drill. And so in my case, my drill was Facebook ads. And, 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 and he recommended that for everybody actually, because it's like, at the end of the day, a business needs a lead. At the end of the day, a business needs a new client. And, and, and we think that posting organically 20 times a day is going to do it for us. No, it's not, especially if you're a local business owner. Now, when you're listening to someone like Gary V, and Gary V is giving the advice to post on all these platforms 15 times a day, that's for someone that's building a nationwide brand. If you're building a nationwide international brand, yes, okay, you can do that. You can, you can post on all these damn platforms and build yourself a, a following of a bunch of random ass people because you have a brand where anybody can buy. If you're selling shoes, for example, that would work. If you're an athlete, that works because anybody can watch you. But if you're a, a, a specific type of business, if, if Pete is only servicing plumbers, posting all day ain't going to do shit for you at all at all. You know, so, 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 so what was I, what was I saying about that? I was saying, um, so, so, well, here's the, so the drill, the drill. So he said, right. he, he said the drill, your drill is Facebook ads. That's the only thing you need to provide for, for businesses, because that's, that's the, the biggest ROI for them. Posting the graphics, all that shit, that'll get you a few bucks here and there. That could be add-ons if you want, but the real ROI, a business will really pay you to run paid traffic for them. Because a local business owner posting nationally for them, posting on all these platforms, that's not going to do anything for a local business owner. All it's going to do is attract followers and friends from all over the country and, and even on, all, all over the world with my YouTube channel. If I was a local business owner and I was posting this content on YouTube, I would be screwed. Because 99.999% of all my subscribers and people that are watching my videos live across the country. Many of them even live across the world. So they're like, holy shit, if I was a local plumber, I'd be screwed. None of these people are, are my clients, potential clients. So, so, so I ended up narrowing it in to make, to answer your question, I ended up narrowing it in to three things that I would start teaching. So what you want to do is you want to think of three. You want to think of the top three things that you want to teach that you want to either teach or you want to do for a business. And then you start creating content around those three things. My three things was it's Facebook ads, landing pages, which are landing pages and sales funnels and email automation. Those are the three things that I can. Landing pages, email automation, landing email. pages, email automation, and Facebook ads. Yeah. So, so those are my top three things. So knowing my top three things and actually being fired up about it. That's another thing, man. You got to be fired up about this shit because you're not going to want to post nothing. And, and so I am able to put out a video on YouTube about this stuff every damn day because I'm focused on what the hell I'm talking about. I actually like what the hell I'm talking about and I'm fired up to share it with everybody else. Right and, and also because I tie it back to monetization, because let's keep it real. I don't do it for the, for my health. 
there has to be monetization. There has to be, this shit has to be monetized somehow. I got to feed my family, right? It's like, we need to make money on it somehow, right? So, right. so I chose those three things for content. Your question was content. Like how in the hell do I put out content? I, fa- I, 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 I focused in on, on those three topics and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then I, and then I poured everything in to YouTube because YouTube started paying me. And that was about a, that was about a year ago. That was about a year ago now today, to this day, I think I got my first YouTube deposit in November of 2019. So, so about a year ago is when, is when the little money started coming and I'm like, holy shit, what if that hundred bucks turns into 500 and, and, and then it did. And then, and then it turned into freaking 600 and then 700. Now freaking today it's 800. And I'm like, dude, I could do this shit every damn day. And, 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 and if I'm, if I'm going to get clients from it and on the back end, have you to pay me this little money, like shit, does 800 pay my whole entire overhead? No. But does, but does 800 pay for freaking groceries and my car note? Yes. And I'll take it. Right. So, so right. as I started doing that, as I started noticing that, man, YouTube, people are actually understanding what I'm saying. They're actually, they're actually listening to what I'm saying. What up, Bryson? I'll be there, bro. Give me a second. But they're actually okay. listening to what I'm saying and, 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 and it started growing. And that's when, that's when I went all in, but I stayed focused on those three things I was excited about those three things and whether it's YouTube or any other platform, you would get fired up about posting it because it's something that you actually enjoy. Three, three things, narrow, narrow down everything Pete yeah. knows to three. I think, things. I, I think that absolutely narrowing down the, the three things is going to make it is I agree totally with that to, to be successful because sometimes I know myself, you can get too overloaded with too many distractions. You have to keep your focus on, you know, your goals, which would be the, obviously the three things. And I, I really appreciate you, uh, your presentation today because it really has cleared up some things for me. Well, that wasn't a presentation at all. You're my buddy, but that was just my my strategy <laughs> well, I mean, and my your my, comments, my your my comments. two cents. Yeah, that was my two cents on on what I've done and what I've been able to do. Yeah. And, and it's still I meant your comments. It, 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 it's just it's just getting started and that's that's why it's like find out what you're fired up about pete like find out what you're really fired up about like is it really are, are you still fired up about helping plumbers like what are you what are you up to now what are you doing well in my um or are you I, even doing that anymore like I, have, I haven't spoke to you in a year yeah i know no i've been basically taking my uh uh, my uh, expertise, okay, for example, you know, Facebook pages, creating Facebook pages, doing videos, uh, and also I've been working on this Connect 20, and I've been working on that software quite a bit. So mm-hmm. in the last year, I've just been actually done it a little bit backwards where I've gone out in the community and actually done a little bit of both is doing Mm -hmm. some actual uh uh, social media um you say uh prospecting but Mm -hmm. in combining it with actual um actually actually uh meeting meeting with the customers the local and and gaining their confidence and once i've gained their confidence i've gone a lot farther in terms of keeping them and continuing continue on their work. The biggest problem that I, that I, uh, and I've been successful with that. But Doing what kind of work? As far, for as, as far as not, I'm not, you know, I, I, my uh, YouTube has gone, uh, gone down quite a bit and, and uh, I've increased Facebook, but I really haven't got the results. So I think with um, your inspiration today, I can, kind of refocus things, you know? Yeah. And, and, and what, what type of work are you, are you doing for these clients? Uh, I'm doing websites. I'm doing uh, social media. I'm doing, uh, 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 you know, other social, you know, posting and that type of thing. Mm-hmm. And also are they content. local business owners? Yeah, they're local, they're local business yeah. owners and I'm uh, creating leads, creating leads for them 
toward them, mm -hmm. although that has been a little bit slow. So I need to concentrate on how a little, I need a little bit better um, focus on creating leads for them. Facebook ads, Pete, Facebook ads. You have to, you have to learn Facebook ads, man. That's the only yeah. thing you should be doing. You need to turn everything you got going on and, 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 and turn it into a Facebook ads agency. Facebook sure. ads are the only thing that, that a local business owner should be paying you for. Now, now yeah. if you're doing websites, okay, cool. That's fine. But I'm here to tell you a website that that's, 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 that's 1990s, bro. Like, like, yeah, and, yeah, I agree. You can't, uh, you can't just, you can't just produce a website for somebody that doesn't produce leads. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, forget about it that. Has, like, if you, if you create the website, it has to create leads for them. Now, now what you can do a business model, a simple business model would be to go around to these businesses and create a Shopify for them. So if they're selling products, you go to the local spa where they're selling, you know, facial cream and lotion cream and all this stuff. Like you go to any random business where they're selling physical products. One business model is to help them set up a Shopify. Great idea. Yeah. Like that right there. I just thought of that. I pulled that out of my ass right now. Like I just thought of that this second because it's that's not excellent. a website from scratch. No, that's not going to do nothing for them. Even if they're selling products, you're not going to build them an Amazon. Right. Like, like, no, right. like the mm -hmm. best thing to do is build them a Shopify leverage Shopify software. They, the local business owner, they don't want to do any of that shit. So they'll pay you for sure. That's your, that's your power drill. That could easily be right. a power drill right there where Pete sets yes. up Shopify stores for every small business owner. But what I would do is I'd focus mm -hmm. on one type of business owner, you know, don't, don't go after all of them. I'd focus on one yeah. type, one, one type. type, one type. Yeah. But, but again, man, I just truly believe, cause that's, that's a marketing method. A marketing method is to hit the streets. Like my buddy Bryson, he, he, he did that last week, right? Like going out, it's cool if you're out and about and you're just doing your thing, you're going to lunch with your friends and you just happen to be at a restaurant where you're going to talk to the owner and ask them some questions about marketing. That's cool. But if I actually have to put, lace up my shoes and, and put on my prospecting hat and jump in my car and drive down to the local strip mall just to go pitch these people or prospect or hand them my business card, that's one method. And I just think that method is dead. I think that method takes too much damn time. I've done that a million times okay. in different businesses in 20 years. Like I've hit the streets and canvassed and freaking, I did all that shit. Today, right. that's what I'm trying to tell you on my Facebook. That's why I already had all that past experience. And in 2016, I'm like, dude, forget about that. I am not going to hit my local neighborhood. I am not going to physically walk to these businesses and knock on their door. Hell no. Nor am I going to call them either. I'm going to leverage Facebook. I'm going to request all of them, and I'm going to hit them in the direct message while I'm sitting at right. home in my freaking boxers. Right. I'm not driving anywhere. I don't want to meet with you. I don't want to talk to you face-to-face. -face. Hell no. That's the oldest method in the book. Yeah, right. Like, I don't want to sit That's down with from. you at lunchtime <laughs> at your office. Like, hell no. Yeah. I ain't doing right. none of that shit. Right. But, but I can direct message you. I can schedule a call. I can get you on Zoom. And, and, and it's like Zoom is a game changer, man. It allows both parties to be comfortable. Look, Pete, you're comfortable at home. I'm comfortable at home. If I had to, if I had to meet you right now for coffee down, down at the coffee shop, who the hell has time for that? Yeah. I got to spend money on gas. I, I got to I got I got to treat you for coffee cuz I'm the one presenting. I got to treat you for coffee. I'm going to go broke in no time. Yeah, I I really understand where you're coming from. But I've done that a million yeah. times. You have too. I'm preaching to the choir. Like this yeah. is stuff we've we we already know. Like it but just the fact that you bad. brought that up and that's what you're doing. Yeah. Hell no, man. Yeah. Jump on a social media direct message. Find those people on social media. Find them on LinkedIn and and, and send them a hello message. Be their friend first. Don't pitch them right away. And just fill up right. your friend list with nothing but that type of client. Fill up your LinkedIn. Fill up your Instagram with nothing but that type of client. But, but also, man, whatever the hell you're doing, whatever you're doing, I truly believe that you need to start your YouTube channel. I truly believe that, man. I truly believe yeah. that. I don't care what you what, – what the, the, I don't care if you think you have a ton of knowledge or, or, or not. Like, you have knowledge. You have knowledge. Build, you, you need to start documenting. And that's all I started doing, Pete. Like I narrowed it down to three things. Those are the three things that I focused on, right? Facebook ads, landing pages and sales funnels, and email automation. 
those are, it's, it's really four, but it's three landing pages and sales funnels are kind of the same thing. So Facebook ads, landing pages, and email automation. I narrowed it down as I told you to those three things. And then I started creating content around those three things. But then I also made sure that we were going to monetize that, right? I also made sure that if I'm going to talk about landing pages and email automation, I'm going to make sure that I'm getting paid. I'm going to make sure that I'm teamed up with a company that's actually going to pay me to talk about their damn product. Oh, absolutely. And that's, Could that's why Kartra, all you hear about is Kartra and all my damn videos because I started talking about that because they started paying me. My Kartra check is ridiculous now too. So, so not sure. only am I getting this YouTube money now, but my, my Kartra check is about matching that right there. So it's, that, so it's like my Kartra. That took you about a year, year with Kartra? Yeah, talking about it. But here, here, here's the deal. Here's what I'm saying. All I started doing on YouTube is doing tutorials. And just sharing right. with people yeah. my day yeah. day in the life. You know. As I'm building a landing page, I turn on Zoom. Hey guys, this is David. I'm in here doing a web page. Just thought I'd share it with you. Let me show you how I do this. Random shit. Like and and even with my videos, like none of them are edited. None of them are professionally shot. In the very beginning, I had I had horrible audio. Like even today, my audio is not the best. Like my thumbnail is like shit. Like, I got Bryson on the line. This guy's a professional Adobe guy. He could design all kinds of crap, like, way better than me. But I'm not worried about any of that stuff. And my shit's still right. growing. Right. Right? So, 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 whatever you're teaching, whatever you're knowledgeable about, start documenting video. And you, and you don't even have to be on camera, Pete. You don't have to be on, I have so many videos that I'm not on camera. So, so, you don't necessarily have to be on camera over here on YouTube at all, man. You share your screen. And you document what the hell you're doing. If you're building a website, why don't you build a YouTube channel around that? Start yeah. documenting how you're building yeah. websites. Hey guys, this is Pete. Just wanted to come up here. I'm going to be putting together this webpage for a client. Just want to show you how I do it. Little basic tutorials, Pete. Your shit will blow up. Yeah. And when YouTube starts sending you a few hundred bucks a month, believe me, you're, you're really not going like to complain. It. That'll be exciting. You're not going <laughs> to complain. I don't, I don't complain about 814 no matter how much money I got. I'll take yeah, 814 right. all day. Right. Especially if I'm just uh, talking see. crap over here for the hell of it and just documenting my day. Well, absolutely. Right. Well, you certainly have, you know, you have a great track record for it. You know, but I'm it, impressed with, you know, you, you actually, I mean, you have some goals, you set some goals and you went after them. And today you gave me some good insight of what I should be thinking. About. Consistency so, is that the key. I appreciate it. Consistency boss. Um, I'll, I'll have this up. I'll have this video uploaded tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. So play it back and, and hopefully you got some value from it, man. Yeah, okay. But message right. me soon. We need to talk again. I want to know about that software and I want to see where, you're, where, where the holes are with your Facebook ads. We got to get your Facebook ad game up if you're talking okay. to clients, man. If you're talking All to right. businesses, I need you to be a Facebook ad ninja. So right. let me kind of cool. show you what I've been doing. I appreciate doing you sharing, okay, boss. sharing message your me insights today. Thank you. Or you have my calendar. Just schedule another call. Schedule another call and we'll go from there. Okay, great. All right, boss. Thank you. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye.